So the brand new lore comic for Operation Commanding Force has just released for Rainbow Six Siege, and this continues the story after when Brava, Capital, and Habana went to attack Deimos on his plane, but were unsuccessful in this mission. Of course, at this time as well, Harry was killed, Sledge, Ash, Zofia, Kavera, and Thermite were all injured, and the main goal of Team Rainbow now is eliminating Deimos. So before we get into this, if you are new and haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so as I do cover Rainbow Six lore on this channel. And so guys, if you're all caught up, let's get into this. So this comic starts with Brava walking into the Hereford Military Hospital in Hereford, United Kingdom, same place where Hereford Base is actually located, and we overhear a conversation between Habana and Thermite. So Habana says, someone planted intel in Deimos's plane. Thermite responds by saying, what was it? We now take a look into the actual hospital itself where we can not only see Habana talking to an injured Thermite who has a walking stick, but we can also see that Ash is in a coma. So the future of Ash, we don't actually know how she's going to make out of this. So continuing Habana and Thermite's conversation, Habana says that there was a geolocation for a compound in Brazil, and if there's more intel to gather, that's where it will be. Thermite asks if it can be accessed remotely, and Habana says no, completely off the grid, and that Brava will lead a reconnaissance operation to find out more. Thermite instantly shuts this down by saying that that son of a bitch put Ash in a coma. He killed Harry. Brava had a line of fire on Deimos and didn't take the shot, and we did actually see that in the Commanding Force cinematic. Habana responds by saying, I am aware of what's at stake, Thermite. This is a Viper Strike operation. You do not get a say. So a little bit of turmoil between the two captains. Thermite says that New Intel says that Deimos is actually getting ready for another strike as they speak, and they need to win here. Then Brava interrupts by saying, then allow me to take the point. Sir, the clock is ticking. I know the area, the people, and how to access the compound unnoticed. With me leading, we save weeks of prep. Weeks we don't have. Like you said, now or never. And Thermite, looking quite stressed out, eventually agrees. Habana says, find us something Brava, but be careful, this could be a trap. And Thermite finishes off saying, and if you see Deimos, you pull the fucking trigger. And a determined Brava says, yes captain, I won't make the same mistake twice. So now we're actually in Oro Preto in Brazil, and we can actually see the reconnaissance team led by Brava, but it actually has Jaeger and Alibi along in this mission. Really cool to finally see more Jaeger in the lore. So we actually get a little look at this compound with Brava, Alibi and Jaeger looking at it from the hill. Jaeger and Brava both make their way closer to the compound, whilst Alibi hangs back with what seems to be a marksman rifle in her hands. It's really cool to see Alibi actually use a weapon that isn't the MX Storm. Alibi gets the call that weapons are free, meaning that she can take the shots. However, she actually gets flanked by one of these unknown enemies, who then takes a shot at her head, but it turns out she was actually a Prisma this whole time, and the real Alibi was actually in a different position and takes out this enemy. What an absolute badass. So with the element of surprise gone, Brava and Jaeger are fighting these enemies head on. Brava orders Jaeger to open fire. Both Brava and Jaeger do get pinned down, with Brava saying that they need to get inside the building, but Jaeger is actually worried that more reinforcements are about to come. Brava seemingly makes up her mind, saying if we don't get that intel, more will die by the hand of Deimos. We do whatever it takes. Brava swings a corner, taking out two enemies, whilst other enemies are actually being taken out by both Jaeger and Alibi. Brava swings a corner, again throwing a grenade and then shooting after it, taking out more enemies. However, this leaves her exposed from another enemy with a grenade in his hand. He throws a grenade at Brava, but Jaeger's ADS is there to save the day. And finally, Alibi takes the killing shot on the enemy that threw the grenade. And with this, the enemies are defeated. And I actually think it was really nice to see Alibi and Jaeger's gadget actually used in a real life setting because we've not really actually seen that before, so it's really cool to see them work in this manner. Alibi and Jaeger are about to enter the building, that is, until what seems to be a rocket launcher actually blows it up. And it seems like Brava and Jaeger were kind of hit by this blast as well. Brava seems defeated when she realizes that the intel has been destroyed in the fire. And that is until she sees the silhouette of someone running into the forest. So Jaeger, Brava, and Alibi get on their feet and chase this person down. This person actually says, you don't want to shoot trust me. Brava says, give me a good reason. And this person actually says, I don't know how, but they found out you were coming and laced that building with explosives. I blew it up to save your lives. And Brava actually says, well, that's a little convenient. Another option is that you knew what we were after and destroyed our intel. And then this person says, I didn't destroy the intel. I am the intel. I'm the one who planted the geolocation. Brava replies by saying, then why all this? Why not come to us directly? The stranger says, I was stuck. Deimos, he's everywhere. It's a long story. My only option was to get your attention on this compound and hope you'd send a team. I can help you stop him. And the next page we actually return to what seems to be an undisclosed base, I'm not sure if this is still the hospital, but it does look somewhere quite different. Could actually be the stadium, because we do know that is a base of operations for Team Rainbow. So Habana actually looks at Brava and says, did you find something that can help us catch Deimos? And Brava says, not something, someone. And in the final page, Brava says, Habana, Thermite, 
me and then the comic book ends. But what it actually says in the bottom right is that the new R6 operator will be revealed next season, basically confirming that this figure is the brand new operator, which will begin in year 8 season 2, who's actually from Sweden. Now I also do believe that they will be part of the Red Hammer squad, and this is purely just because ever since the squad system was introduced into Rainbow Six, there has been a new operator added to each squad. Grim was added to Nighthaven, Sense was added to Wolfguard, Solus was added to Ghost Eyes, and Brava was added to Viper Strike. So the only squad that hasn't had a new operator added to it yet is Red Hammer, so I do believe that this operator might be part of Red Hammer. Obviously, that's just a theory by me, but I have a feeling that might be quite strong. And as we do see, Thermite and this new operator are in the same room together. And I could explain as to why they end up in Red Hammer as well, because the leader of Red Hammer could offer them a job right there. But if this is the new Swedish operator, this is our first heavily lore invested operator that is linked to Deimos. It's actually going to be added to the game. I guess Azami was actually kind of linked to Deimos as well, since Yahata was assassinated by Deimos, and of course, Azami was the bodyguard for Yahata. But compared to other new recruits, like Solus and Brava, they don't really seem to have any correlation to Deimos. This new one actually knows a lot, and he does seem to be one step ahead of Deimos, which is what Rainbow really needs right now. This Swedish operator could be the key to defeating Deimos. So I'm going to take a moment here, and I'm going to theorize what this operator's link to Deimos is actually going to be. From this bit forward, this is pure theory. Everything I presented before is official lore. Right now, I'm doing my own theorizing of this new operator. So what we do know about Deimos is that he is ex-Rainbow operative to some extent, whether that was on the field, whether that was a leader, we do not know yet, but he was part of Rainbow at one point in time. I actually have a feeling that this Swedish operator was also part of Rainbow at one point and actually potentially worked alongside Deimos when they were both at Rainbow. And so, for whatever reason, we are still yet to learn, Deimos does leave Team Rainbow at one point, maybe he just quits outright because he's not a fan of what they're doing, maybe I had a theory as well that maybe he was like a recruit who was left on a mission because it was too dangerous to go back for him and he has like this vengeance against Team Rainbow or something like that. For whatever reason it is, Deimos was part of Rainbow and he is no longer part of Rainbow and he has a grudge against Rainbow. So let's say he left on valid terms but was not this murderous killer like he is now. The Swedish operator could have left with him and they had ideas to build their own private military similar to Nighthaven. As we can see in the cinematic, Deimos does have funding, he has soldiers, there is some form of military background that this guy is operating. So let's say him and the Swedish operator actually went into business together and started a private military organization. However, over time Deimos and the Swedish operator's personalities started to conflict and they had different goals for where they want to go. And maybe there was like a breaking point where the Swedish operator learned that Deimos is actually going to be plotting against Team Rainbow and the Swedish guy was like, I am not having part of this, we are not doing this. And then like maybe Deimos tries to kill him but he escapes his life or something along the lines of that. But basically at the end of the day, the Swedish guy is on Team Rainbow's side, worked with Deimos, knows a lot about him and that's how he's one step ahead. Of course that was just a wild little theory I just thought of at the top of my head, but I definitely do think Deimos and the Swedish operator do know each other on a personal level. And I mean, how else would he be one step ahead of Deimos, and also, why would he go through this effort to help Team Rainbow if he had no link to them either? I mean, look at the extent he went to, he even put himself in the line of fire of Al by Jaeger and Brava, any one of them could have taken the shot on him. So I cannot wait to learn the lore of this brand new Swedish operator, it's really cool that they're already teasing this new operator in the lore, months before they officially get revealed. And I keep referring to him as a him, we don't actually know who this is, this could be anyone, we don't know who this silhouetted Swedish operator actually is. So guys, I cannot wait to learn more, this was an absolutely insane comic, it was so nice to see all the operators. It was nice to see Jaeger and Alibi actually use their gadgets in the field. We've never seen that before. So be sure to let me your theories in the comment section below about the brand new Swedish operator. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy this, like if you did not. Subscribe if you're new. I should catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.